Welcome to Hinkle Field House on the campus of Butler University, Indianapolis, Indiana, where you're going to see the first annual American Basketball Association All-Star Game. Here, from teams as far away as the Anaheim Amigos in the West and the New Jersey Americans in the East, are the 24 finest players in the ABA, the leading scorers, the strongest rebounders, and the top playmakers. Nearly 11,000 fans have crowded their way into Hinkle Fieldhouse tonight to see players like 6'9", Mel Daniels, the league's leading rebounder and center of the Minnesota Muskies. Louis Dampier, backcourt star of the Kentucky Colonels. Former NBA star Cliff Hagan, now player coach of the Dallas Chaparrales. Six foot eight, Red Robin, center of the New Orleans Buccaneers. John Beasley, six nine, forward of the Dallas Chaparrales. And now here's George Mikan, commissioner of the ABA. You know, I've been associated with basketball all my life. And I can't remember an occasion which has given me more personal satisfaction than the basketball game you are going to see in just a few seconds, the first American Basketball Association All-Star Game. I'm proud of this game, not just of the caliber of play, which is outstanding, but of the people throughout our new league who helped make this first All-Star Game a reality. So right now, I'd like to welcome you to All-Star Basketball, American style. Here are the West All-Stars. Starting at center for the West will be 6'8", Red Robins of the New Orleans Buccaneers. Forwards will be Clef Hagen of the Chaparrales and Doug Moe of the Buccaneers. Guards will be Laverne Tart of the Americans and Larry Jones of the Denver Rockets. Babe McCarthy, coach of the Buccaneers, is the West coach. For the East All-Stars, starting at center for the East will be Mel Daniel, 6'9", of the Minnesota Muskies. Forwards will be Pittsburgh Pipers, Connie Hawkins, and the Indiana Pacers, Roger Brown. At the guards, Don Freeman of the Muskies, and Freddie Lewis of the Pacers. Coaching the East is Jim Pollard, coach of the Minnesota Muskies. Referees for this first All-Star contest are Joe Belmont and Ron Verizon. Four captains for the two squads are Mel Daniels and Cliff Hagan. Some changes the ABA has introduced into the pro game, along with the red, white, and blue ball, are the 30-second time clock for more time in setting up plays, the 12-foot wide free throw lane, same as in college ball, and perhaps the biggest change, the three-point field goal. All shots made from outside the 25-foot zone count for three points. Here we go, the start of the first ABA All-Star game. East with the ball, Freddie Lewis of the Pacers, Watch how they work the ball into the big man on the scoring play. And Daniels, the league's leading rebounder, puts the East in front two to nothing. Daniels, only 22 years old, is a sense to be one of the ABA's great superstars. He certainly has all the tools. Goaltending called on the East. Larry Jones' basket is good. Jim Pollard looking on. West on the attack. Watch Hagen thread this pass through the East defense. Beautiful. Hagen not only is coach of the Chaparrales, but he leads the squad in assists. Big 220-pound Doug Moe of New Orleans is one reason Babe McCarthy's New Orleans Buccaneers are at the top of the Western Division. There's a jumper by Laverne Cart, and the West leads by four. The East calls timeout. Earlier, we asked Jim Pollard to give us his thoughts on the game. We got good rebounding strength with Paul, let's say, Connie Hawkins from Pittsburgh and Mel Daniels of our own Minnesota Muskies. And I think a fine ball player in Roger Brown along with uh, 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 Donnie Freeman. I think this is a good ball game. I think the guys are excited to play and uh, as competitors, are, they'll do a good job. Lewis to Freeman and he scores. West on the attack. If you've ever had a chance to watch Laverne Tart in action, you'll know there's only one way to stop him when he's open. He's fouled by Freeman, a former Bradley star. He's been averaging better than 27 points a game and until recently has led the league in scoring. Freeman of the Muskies, he shoots. 
fast break. Larry Jones and Daniels rebound. Down court to Freeman. One point lead for the East, but the West is going to take the lead back on Tart's jump. Daniels on a tip in, and the East is back in front. Here's the West again, West in front by one. Now normally you don't expect a big man to hit from the outside, but Red Robins playing a high post does, and the former Tennessee star hits. Freddie Lewis on the fast break. West on offense. Doug Moe, watch out for Tart. Rick Berry handling color for the national play-by-play -play telecast. Rick was the leading scorer in the NBA last year and will bring his scoring punch to the Oakland Oaks squad next season. And Jones knots the score at 30 all. Backcourt men for the East are Carrier and Dampier, teammates on the Kentucky Colonel. Fine jump shot by Les Hunter coming up. Hunter has that natural ability to hang in the air till the last possible second. Larry Brown, number 11, you'll be seeing a lot of him. Art Becker, good. Darrell Carrier to his Kentucky teammate, Dampier. He scores. Larry Brown, just 5'9", but the game's most valuable player and the league's leader in assists. He can score, too. East 44, the West 38, 7 minutes and 3 seconds to go in the half. Time out for the West. Before the game, Coach McCarthy had this to say. I expect a great game tonight out of our boys. Uh, you know, we've got uh, the leading scorer in Laverne Tart, a guard from uh, the West Coast. We also have Doug Moe, a real fine player from New Orleans. Cliff Hagan is another player of ours that I think will turn in a fine performance. But I think every guy here deserves to be here, and it's an indication of the strength of our league, and I'm happy to be here with you. Now with the East leading by six and threatening to break the game open, the West, sparked by Larry Brown, catches fire. They come back with two quick baskets, one by Beasley, and another by Bunn. East on the attack. Carrier, good. But the West is going to more than match it. First with a jumper by Becker, and then a beautiful long set shot by Larry Brown, a three-pointer. Here's a steal by Jones to tie the score. Now Brown loses it. Dampier puts the East back in front by two. East 55, West 53, minute 44 to go in the half. What a battle these two clubs are putting on now. A nice shot by Jimmy Jones of the Buccaneers. East back on the attack. Chico Vaughn, long jumper, a three-pointer. We said Larry Brown was the league's leader in assists. And here's how he does it. This time to Art Becker of the Mavericks. Chico Vaughn, this Pittsburgh star is a great outside shot. Give Vaughn an opening, and it's another three-pointer. That's two in a row for Chico. And that ends the first half. The East leading 61 to 59. Say, we've got a great halftime show. These are the Harrison Foot Twisters from Hamilton, Ohio. Grade school kids that are truly outstanding gymnasts. Watch this. One of the highlights of this first All-Star game was the presentation of special All-Star rings to players and coaches. This is Commissioner Mikan and Rick Berry admiring the new rings. And here is the official mascot of the Kentucky Colonel. Commissioner Mikan presents rings to all players and their coaches.
sculptured in gold, the all-star ring is a handsome reminder of this very special occasion. Here's Babe McCarthy receiving his ring in the West dressing room. And for the East, and Coach Jim Pollard getting his ring, Pollard and Mike, incidentally, were teammates in the old champion Lakers. Third quarter begins, the score is 61-59, the East leading. Starting lineups for the second half, we'll see Mel Daniels at center for the East, along with Hawkins and Brown at the forwards, Freeman and Lewis at the guards. For the West, Red Robbins at center, Hagen and Moe at forwards, Tart and Larry Jones at the guards. Referee Joe Belmont is about ready to put the ball up for the start of the third quarter. Referees in the ABA not only carry out the league's red, white, and blue colors, but they're also identified by their name on the back of their shirts, a feature enjoyed by both fans and coaches. Watch Daniels move on this play. Get a step on his man, there it goes. West from the attack, beautiful play set up here by the old pro, Cliff Hagen. Freeman brings it up court to Lewis. And he hits from just inside the 25-foot zone. The burn tart, tipped away by Daniel. Freeman. It's good. Larry Jones of the Denver Rockets. Watch Moe shake his man and then cut the East lead to just two points. The East lead 67 65. Freeman, top of the key. East 69, the West 65. Now here comes a sample of that much touted West speed with Larry Jones, the former Toledo star. Jones and Stanley holds the league's single game record of 52 points. Six foot five, Roger Brown of the Pacers. Who said basketball wasn't a contact sport? East comes up now with a pair of quick baskets following the alert play of Lewis and Freeman. The West is right back with a pair of goals. The first by the Americans for Mern Tart and the second by Houston to whip menu. Watch the six foot eight Hawkins stuff. The West now, another fine play by the Dallas coach Cliff Hagen coming up as he feeds Moe. And the West draws up within one point of the East. East 84, West 83, two minutes, 11 seconds to go in the third. Carrier, a jumper, Daniels, and the East has a three point lead. West on the attack, watch Tart draw the defense on this play. Great. Inbounds play via the TV camera. East moving the ball. They're going to try and feed Nadalecki. Dampier hit. The Rockets, Larry Jones. Burglar, Ben Warley. Jones, long jumper. Jones, by the way, led the Mid-America Conference in scoring when he was at Toledo. The East now, Dampier, Hunter. Watch the West, Doug Moe, get this fast break underway. To Worley, he's fouled. Out. Burglar Ben, 6'8 center, the Anaheim Amigos. That spinning the ball before each free throw has been a worldly trademark throughout his career. He's a former Tennessee state star.
East Ball, Dampier, Roger Brown. Beautiful play coming up, captured in slow motion. Great body control by Hunter as he waits till the very last second before triggering the shot. Hunter at 6'7", his average better than 17 points a game for the final 12 minutes coming up. So far, the West speed and ball handling has counterbalanced the East superior muscle off the board, and neither squad has been able to sustain the kind of scoring that would break the game open. Final 12 minutes of action coming up, the East with a one-point lead. The East will have Bob Nedelecki, the 6'8 center of the Indiana Pacers, jumping against 6'9 John Beasley from the Dallas Chaparral. A turnover by the East, and the West takes advantage of it by putting on the offensive pressure. Becker, and again, not a lucky rebound. Jones, Becker, and that one's good. Larry Brown, and Brown puts the West ahead by three. East on the attack. Carrier. And the West matches it by Brown. East 102, the West 105, less than seven and a half minutes to go. The East loses it. And there's that West speed again. Number 11 on the fast break, Larry Brown. East back on offense. Daniels, he's been the big man in the East attack so far. New Jersey's Tony Jackson, the former St. John star. What were we saying about contact? The outside shooting of the big man has been outstanding so far, especially for the West. 6'9", John Beasley. That keeps the West in front by one. The East rebounding power tells now as they start controlling both the defensive and offensive boards. Randy Mahaffey, the Kentucky Colonel, scoring on a follow-up on Dampier's shot. Daniels for his 19th point. Dampier, two-hand set. Beautiful. East 117, West 112. A minute 38 left to play. East in control now. Watch the big man for the Muskies go up for this rebound. Freeman, and that's his 20th point. West in the attack, Tart. Hagen, he's deadly from the right side. East back, seven point lead. The West is going to have to do something and fast. Daniels is open. Number 11 again, Larry Brown. Two hands set, a three-pointer, a great shot. That cuts the East lead to six, but there isn't time enough left, just seconds now. And that's it. The East takes the first ABA All-Star game, 126 to 120. Here are the leading scorers, Daniels with 22, Freeman with 20, Dampier with 18, Buccaneers Larry Brown with 17, Doug Moe with 17, and Laverne Tart with 14 points. And the most valuable player, 5'9", Larry Brown of the New Orleans Buccaneers. Brown was a former star at North Carolina and an All-American AAU player and an Olympic star. His performance earns him that huge game trophy and that sparkling new convertible. <laughs>